saying Southern pride, and then like, just you'll grow up thinking. Right, 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 Yeah, no, I was just saying, the Uber we do. That's the, that's the same shit they did at uh, Lee Davis when they Yeah, that's the head bar. Yeah, the head bar. Yeah, the head bar. You know, and over. Right. Ain't that bar. Yeah. 301. Yeah. Right, right. That's nice. Verona was always nice. Yeah. Verona was always nice in sports. You said you went to. Uh, oh, me and Al. I went to uh, Bird. Bird, yeah. Bird. See, Bird. Bird. It's Bird. 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 Don't see Bird. Right, right. Chesterfield Davis. But, uh, see you. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, that, that, that sounds intimidating. Right, 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 right. That, that brings the cops around. Right, 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 right. right, right. Um, I guess I'll start. Um, I'll start with the name. Uh, what, what, where did Connor come from? Um, so ironic as it is. I mean, I've always kind of just been a spiritual person. Okay. Um, so like, when I first started rapping, I wanted like my name. Like I was bouncing around from a whole bunch of different names, and then like. I don't know, like one day I just thought like, all right, karma. At the time, I was listening to Capital Steve's. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Okay. So I was like really on some other shit, you feel me? So it was like, you know, uh, karma, all right, bet. And then before I knew it, it's just like people was calling me that before they was calling me my real name, so. I guess uh, for shits and giggles, do you remember any of the, um, the names that didn't make the cut? Swag and want to be called Absorb. And I was like, nah, she's not going to stick. So I can't, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know what I was thinking. And then, um, I forgot. Honestly, that's something, that's really the only one I can remember other than Carmel. Throughout my career, though, I adopted one name, it was Young Judge. That's why I got the bone with Judge no more. Oh, oh, that's what I thought. Okay. All right. I've seen that. Like, I've seen the, the rolling trays and shit like that. So I've seen that before. Where, yeah, so this was the beginning of my career, kind of like um, 10th, 11th grade. I had got locked up, and um, like my boys, uh, they had made a documentary, and oh, that's I was cool. on it, and then this quote was under my face, like I was looking silly as hell. And <laughs> I was just like, and then it was like, I don't want to judge no more. And just because I, I shouldn't have been doing what I was doing anyway, so it just stuck with the underground thing, the main thing was going on. So mm -hmm. just kept trying to promote, yeah. mm -hmm. promote the own one shit the more. Yeah, you have? Yeah, I got one. Gonna hop right into the age question. <laughs> but uh, it's a little twist this time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is where Alice likes to put you at a hypothetical age and ask you what you would do at a hypothetical age. Basically, a what is question. Okay. Yeah, so let me just Talk go ahead and you. start you out. <laughs> <laughs> let me get it. Right? No, no, no. Right, yeah. <laughs> Slip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like when you turned 18, mm -hmm. but you didn't get to it. Maybe you got to do it after, maybe you got to do it. But yeah, something that you wanted to do when you were 18. Wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But you didn't get to it. I wanted to go to college. Okay, okay. Yeah, like I wanted to go to college. I, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to do some project action. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go to college. Um, forget the learning. Yeah, forget the learning. I mean, come on, like, be. <laughs> right here, right, right up the alley, right, right here. Yeah, that, that was the motivational thing. Of course, I'm gonna have to go to class, but well, party in class, yeah. Party in class. Oh, oh, I, 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 so I see what you're like, hey, yeah, yeah. So then, class, all I gotta do is merge them together and then I can your head now. Yeah, get out of here. That's the most wholesome age question Alex has ever asked. It really is. Yeah. No, just <laughs> his age question that he usually. It usually involves somebody beating somebody, mama up, or something like not that. Not necessarily, man. Of course not. But yeah, you can't can put it simple. I can take the Uber route. I guess yeah. once, they, um, once could say then why why didn't you go to college, right? Or why do you think you didn't? Um, um yeah, give me a little deep. Man, I ain't got to look up again. Yeah. That 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 that's 
so that gets a lot of things. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Keep it down. I'm just um, cutting up, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Like, really, I had stopped playing football and then, like, you know, the music and stuff. So I guess I was carrying on a persona. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, when you carry the persona, you gotta fill the shoes. Yeah, so shut the like, yeah, that happened, and then, I don't know, I guess my credits just got messed up, you know, and, and while I was locked up, so I was like, man, no. Nah. Yeah, never heard I'm gonna just keep rapping, like, right? Yeah, so, it don't. Um, I'd say, um, I guess what inspires you to do music? Um, well, I like, I like to, like, heal people, you know, okay. like, um, you know, yeah, like I like to say you and stuff, even if it's my street shit or if it's um, some intellectual shit. Um, like, it's still like to have um, some healing stuff in there, you feel me, to where it's not just a joke that you can play one time and it's just all oh, for a certain moment. It's just, this is something you can play when you go alone. Mm -hmm. you know That's really what drives me to do this stuff. How do you see the the retro music scene today? It's so it's great. To I I if you ask me, being on the on the foot level of it, it's it's great because um I mean you got the street rappers working together with them. And you also got and I mean these street rappers is from different hoods. <laughs> then you got you got um the the boom bap. Battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? They sticking together right here. So I feel like everybody in the gist of everything understands um, what direction we need to be headed in. And then also we got we got artists that's like popping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? F and F, you know, F and F chop. Yeah, shout out F and F chop. Shout out right, right, like, right, right. G Sambo, I rock with him. You know what I'm saying? Um, and these people, they getting features from heavy artists, you know, so Richmond is really on the map for real. I mean, you got the street uh, rappers working together now, and you also got, and I mean, these street rappers is from different hoods. <laughs> then you got, you got um, the, the boom bap battle rappers, you know what I'm saying, they sticking together working together. So, I feel like everybody in the gist of everything understands um, what direction we need to be headed in. And then also, we got we got artists that's like popping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? F and F, you know, F and F Chop. Yeah, let's go. Shout out. Right, right, right. Like, right, right. G Sambo, I rock the room. You know what I'm saying? Um, and these people, they getting features from heavy artists. You know, so Richmond is really on the map for real. If you had to, if someone came up to you and said, okay, what is, what is Richmond's sound? You had to explain it in a sentence. What is Richmond's sound? Like, it's like Chicago rap mixed with D.C. mixed with down south. That's the best. Mix, no, it's like Louisiana, Chicago, and D.C. mixed in one. You know what I'm saying? They got that, like, kind of little jump that they ain't doing in DC, that little bounce. And then you got that gangster shit that Chicago bring, but then you also got that accent of that Louisiana kind of shit that people like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So really we are on thing like got a lot going on. The real ritual. Uh what what did you um why do you why do you not say the real ritual? I mean because it's just yeah, not it's not necessarily saying that other artists aren't Richmond artists, but they are catering to a flow that's not from Richmond. So they're adopting the flow that's not from Richmond. So um, essentially, they're they're not giving us any credit. So like, boom, that's that. Go ahead. Um, so I would say, what recharges your battery? Um, in your personal I guess professional life as well and like what also drains you um, personally and business wise so recharges my battery yeah and what keeps you going mm -hmm. um, <laughs> like like just uh, let's see well I like meditating mm -hmm. uh, I, I like fasting 
some weird stuff. I don't know. Respect. I like, I like fasting. Respect. It really does reboost your energy. Mm. You know, it's just a real thing. Okay. And I didn't know it. How long? Huh? How long you fast for? So say if it's just no food or water, mm -hmm. the most I go is like three days. Okay. okay. Understand. But <laughs> very understand. If it's just if it's eating only on Sunday or you know wrong enough, right? Dirty. So the dirty. But the fasting is like the journey is for real. I bet, man. You know. And but again, quick question about fasting. Like, okay, like if you're not like eating that much and everything, like so, like do you kind of like try to talk to somebody else? <laughs> so like, okay, your energy, like when you're going about your day to day like activities and whatnot, right. you have to kind of like conserve it a little bit more, or is it just kind of like not really a difference to you, or just like your personal experience with it? I would say. Um, not really because I don't abstain from food and water like that long. Like it's only uh, like three days. Mm -hmm. and if I was to go on seven, I, I would imagine myself to be okay. feeling weaker. Right. But like really in those three days the toxins are just coming out of your body. So oh, okay. It's okay. just like that joint is boosting you. You feel me? It's like oh. you know, that charm is like, You had asked me what brings me down. Yeah, yeah, drains you. You know, I, I have I mean, still to this day, I have a drug problem. Hey, niggas don't like to admit it. Of course not. Whatever. Of course not. But, you know, I've experimented with some different shit mm -hmm. from time to time. And you get curious. Huh? You get curious, and those things, for sure, definitely put me in low energy. Other than the weed. Weed is cool. You know, <laughs> right, 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 yeah, right, 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 right. Drinking for a celebratory purpose is cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Simply. Yeah. Simply. Simply. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <Simple. Simple. Yeah. laughs> that that, that, that don't drain me like there's certain artists I know. <coughs> I don't know how they do it on a daily basis. I like and, and they consistent. You like these famous artists out here who started off as SoundCloud rappers and. Yeah, they famous. Like when I watch their whole process, they be getting fucked up every day. And they be on like Adderall and shit, but like so they just stay up, like you know. And I be like, man, how they doing down. it? Like where the energy coming from? They gifted people. Like I don't. Just they just they just gifted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no. But yeah. Um, honestly, obviously, um, you kind of have one rarity that we haven't seen really before. Um, your relationship with R. B. A. Rapper. I think you're about to do a cycle with them, or yeah. what say. I guess um, explain the process with that real quick, but it's the outside like Yeah, so with the rapper we joined, um, it's, I just want to become a part of it because like, I mean, like, for real, if you, if you want to get a look, a good look from some of the OGs in the city, mm -hmm. that's, that's the place to be, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of heavy hitters be in there. That's number one. The number two, it just it's great practice. Like mm -hmm. it's it's great. Um, the ciphers at least, you know, it's great pra practice um, and stuff like that. Like I love the environment, you know, and, and I got a lot of respect for Radio B. Yeah, he's solid. Yeah, he's solid dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, for real, real solid dude. For real. Okay. I have one question that I've been kind of thinking of these last couple. You know, for the upcoming artists, would you would you rather have them stay independent or side deal? Um. Okay. So, stay in this <laughs> side deal. I mean, it's so if you if you like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. My mind was racing for a Yeah, no, 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 no. But so check it. Um, if you already have a following and you already have, um, if you know the business and you have a following and you got like somewhat of a team, um, a record deal might be your route. Okay. But if you are independent, I mean, or like you were saying, if you, if you are like just establishing yourself. Or if you don't even have aspirations of wanting to put it like this, if you like to know the people who you sell your stuff to, yeah. like genuinely, um, independent is definitely a route for that. Because like 
it gives you the opportunity to run your business yourself, run it how you would want to run it, rather than when you're on the label. Um, Just run for you? Yeah. yeah. So in, in, in some way, it starts to seem like it's business to, with your fans and stuff, like the connection to me is lost. Right? But then with the independent joint, you got, you got an independent label. A lot of these people, when you see independent labels, their followers genuinely fuck with them and ride with them throughout their whole career. You know, so. A genuine Yeah. Um, I guess I got one last question. Though. The guys are you actually collaborated with um with the prior guest of mine, uh, King Image, Shella. Um, yeah, yeah, money yeah, and that's the homie. So um, I guess just real quick describe like um not only making that music video with him, but just doing music videos in general. Yeah, yeah, no, like so um Sean, he's he's dope. Mm. Like bro got me that video back in like three days, bro. He's he's uh, Sean he's man. work. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, he's yeah. doing yeah. Yeah. King Image, yeah, yeah, y'all gonna get yeah, my yeah, yeah, shout out King Image on this Make sure you go tap in with the homie. Um, yeah, you be working. No doubt. Uh, I'm, glad we, we, I'm trying to work on another joint with him for real. Alright, so I ask this question to every single rapper. Uh, what's your definition of a freestyle? <laughs> Especially since you got a cypher coming out, so one, 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 one thing, right, let's go ahead and get, and your definition, does that have to be yeah. what you think the definition is yours? My definition of a freestyle, like, so you can, you can have, you can have that joke, like, like, say if you wrote something for the upcoming freestyle, to me that's still a freestyle, because, um, number one, you wrote it for that event. And, or that's that, that thing. And then number two, it's all in how you perform it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I feel like if the question is this, you can still write stuff and it still be a freestyle. Okay. So uh, next time. What's, what's your also, I want, I'm interested in y'all's bit, so y'all feel like it's got to be off the dome. Oh no, I actually agree with you. We act like I said, Nick said we ask a lot of rappers this, but I actually agree with you. It's a lot of people, you know, it's not, not a lot of different Somebody was saying, nah, if they ain't off the top, fuck it. They ain't a freestyle. I agree with you. I agree if you write a jump down for the, like, my thing is delivery is very important to me. So, because I used to write lyrics, but I knew, I, I knew at one point, okay, I cannot deliver like a rapper should. So to me, you, like, you know, like, delivery is very important. So, like, yeah. And like, sometimes, yeah, and sometimes I'd rather hear what you wrote in your notes and you brought it straight to the radio than what you're going to try to bring up. Like I told, like I expressed this to the last guest we had here. Oh, you got me off the top. Okay, well, we've seen a lot of terrible off the top freestyles that shit ain't yeah. like that. Right? So, like, and I just know I did. I know I don't remember them. We smoke per click. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, yeah. Moonlight. Spotlight, I don't even really want a spotlight, uh, but they really put me in the limelight. Uh, not a runner, then I want a spot bite, uh, and I got that uh, new pipe. Uh, what I want to do with this new pipe? Uh, got a desert eagle and it's Fortnite. Uh, uh, play it like it's Fortnite. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. So, but yeah, so again, yeah, I honestly agree with you, man. Um, unless Nick has a different one. My one. thing was, <coughs> it, it has to be awkward. That was, that's just me. You know. You, if you can come up with shit off the dome and it be it be fire, that's my definition. Oh, really? Yeah, and to a certain degree, I can't disagree with that because that that really that really will show the talented and the people who has talent. Yeah. You got the dome. Yeah, you got the dome. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah, that's just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I have it in my notes, how the fuck you don't know it's off the dome in some situations? Mm -hmm. Like you don't know, like you know, you, you know the way the camera can be cut, it can be, you know, like oh I just have it memorized. Mm -hmm. I can roll it down, I have it in my head, and it's off the dome. The first thing you know, my, my thing is what, what, what I feel like most rappers are doing now. They are taking certain lyrics from one of their new songs. Oh, I hate that shit. And yeah. Like freestyling is on the radio show. Yeah, it's, see, that's what I was saying. If you, if you recycling verses, that's definitely not a freestyle. You got to get T Rex in it. Right, right, yeah. That's just me. Alright, y'all, they speak to these topics then. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Unfortunately. Hey! Uh, we, yeah. uh, we, yeah. we watch, uh, unfortunately, we watch NFL here on this cast. So we get, you watch the boys on that team? Baltimore. Oh, okay. Well, Wait, you said what? Baltimore. I was about to ask you. Yeah, I'm always going to buy it. There was, I went to Williamsburg Outlet. Oh, a yeah. sports shop down there, and I got me a, a, work? a, a Michael Jordan baseball jersey. So they're still <laughs> making those, right? Yeah. Sweet. I got to get one, bro. So yeah. I, 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 I guess good. everybody's pretty much the winners on the panel with me. Uh, Al, go ahead. You go ahead and start off. Pittsburgh Steelers! <laughs> so, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know I have to lose it three straight, y'all. Yeah. Because I was like, well, he's at home. 
you know, he yes. might be a little nervous. I mean, well, he's away, but at home, he might be nervous. Whatever, he might even throw the game away. Whatever. Mm. Yeah. So, hey, catch this. <laughs> you know, because I'm not these sportsbook casinos, but like I kind of have been doing my research into the okay. little You know what I'm saying? So, in a sense, Tom Brady could have threw the game away, made a meal, and everybody else would have been eating. And did he mean like he eat the meal? Yeah. Yeah. But Brady is so cool because everybody thought that Belichick is, you know what I'm saying, the guy. So, what is Belichick? Yeah. So, so is Belichick is what they ate all day. Yeah. 
don't matter. Trade long. No, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, yo, yo, I was. Yeah, but go ahead. I'm gonna say that for just a one minute. I was gonna say like, but one thing like now I'm kind of nervous in general. Like, it's like um, team loyalty. Like, remember how like players used to be like known for being on a certain team? It kind of seems like that's like done with now. So right, right. Yeah. Like, legacy. Yeah.
this is not right to have to force them to have to take the vaccination if they don't want to. <gasps> and this is only a New York State thing. Like, it's not even an NBA thing. It's just because they, like, I think if they can play for Philadelphia, he needs Gucci. Shirt. Yeah, but it's just a New York State. That's, that's great. Yeah. <gasps> and now the, um, and then as of today, Tuesday, October 12th, now they're even doubling down on it. He can't even do the 41 day, like, he can't even practice. Like, you cannot be a part of the team. Oh, no, Brooklyn Nets has said, you cannot be a part of this team. You can't do the 41 41 thing. You either end up all out. So either you get the vaccine or you cannot play this season. You got to go ahead. I mean, he did threaten him, though. You of course. Got, you got to think about that. Like, nigga said, if y'all trade me, I'm retiring. Like, so now you're worthless to mm-hmm. anybody we would. And obviously, we'll put in the clips. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, man. So, like, you will threaten me now. Yeah, I'm going to take my, my rights away. I gave you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, once again, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Let's. I yeah, think Kyrie is going to trade him from the Nets. Yeah, he said. Yeah, because that was a trade. Like, I'm going to the side. Because that's how I think it is. That was a smart move he made. Indeed. Indeed, it is. That was a smart, smart move. And no, and honestly, and I think, and the reason why it's a smart move for Kyrie, because niggas believe Kyrie. His ass won't really retire, one niggas. They won't give, won't give a damn. I'm like, yeah, he just doesn't. Like, he just doesn't. His mind is not. His priority is not truly really basketball. So, mm-hmm. that's just something to look at. Uh, Shamari, you know what I mean, he, he, it ain't even about just basketball. Money shouldn't force you to do something with your body that you just don't agree with. Of course, that's what mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so. mm-hmm. yeah. 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 I'm saying. But look, you got to think about it like this, though. In order to go to school, you had to get shots. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, that's, it's, yeah, it's business yeah. policy. If you and then one the nigga can say this is a job. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We always look at it. It's one nigga playing basketball. Play basketball. It's a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like you go to the school say. with multiple people, yeah. you still gotta get that tennis shot. But the one thing is, Kyrie has heard, I would say, the word at least school is not school. You still gotta have shots to go see a lot of a whole bunch of other people. But the issue is being around groups of people. Also, also, HB, the only thing I'll combat you with kids, grown ass man. What that mean? Like, you can tell kids the idea, like, Kyrie's a grown ass man. Oh, uh, that's the only thing. But I see what you mean, though. Like you have to do certain things to do certain things. Yeah, it's just yeah. that simple. But go ahead. Yeah. I'll say this. Yeah. First of all, I'm gonna tell y'all. Somebody said if he was on the Bulls, Michael Jordan would have had him vaccinated already. <laughs> His <laughs> damn son. <And> he- <laughs> Oh, 
Holy story. Like, you so bad, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. several years. Once again, okay, y'all. Oh, oh, I'm not going to see y'all niggas in the security. Get out of here. Stop it, Jay-Z. Come on, let's get in that right lane. I can't wait to see that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get in the car. That's the one I'm going to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, you got, you got a code? Destroy it. Destroy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You asked before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nigga already at the doorway, right? Already breathing in your face. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sticking on sports. I'm actually T. I didn't get to watch this live. Uh, Tyson versus Wilder. Trash. Oh, it was a what? Trash. trash fight. Wow. Um, people are calling this a modern day classic HBO. I mean, I didn't see it. People are calling this a classic HBO. Fuck with those people saying they didn't see the fight. So you just. <laughs> Now, are you a Deontay Wilder fan? Of course, I'm not. Oh, I love it. And now, now, everybody, now, everybody's saying that Deontay Wilder went down the whole black race. He did. He was <laughs> <laughs> about, about round five, he was not boxing. He was just swinging. And you like, but he made it to round 11, bitch. He went up with a sword. Yeah, he got knocked out two more times. That nigga was in the trunk. You know what I'm saying? Take it. And that pillow cause it's night <sighs> night To this day Time to go night Blah oh. uh. I'm going down Blah Please help me Yeah Hey man I think the second fight was better than the third one yeah. Well honestly I just I thought And this is the reason why I knew mean, it wasn't that high to see it I just like, didn't agree you should have fought him like the third time in the movies Like I felt like um, Fury had his number. It's Fury's a better boxer. Like he's had his number. Like it's, it's, it's plain to see. He had his number. Cause they know who Wilder is gonna do, y'all. Right. Like, like, like who, who's like who's gonna fight him or who's gonna even? Anthony because Jones. if you think about it, like, but allegedly he's supposed to fight Fury. Allegedly. I don't even want to see that fight. He Nobody. Watch ever, but yeah. Yes. Fury gonna watch him. Seeing the Wilder now, I just kind of, I kind of do feel like his career might be oh. getting a little. Yeah. Because like. Think about the idea when you think about him in your head. Mm. Like, he's, like, he's not he's he's that like, knocked out like three times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At least I'm saying. Uber drive. 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 Sit down, pull you over. He's trying to knock you out in the first five rounds, and if you don't, it's game. And I wasn't paying like $70, $90. Oh, hell no. I was just saying, I wish I was going to the farms. Yeah, nobody had any of that. I wasn't going to Buffalo Wild Wings for that. Who does that? We got internet. The hell? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Give us your 20 God damn it, it's me. Right. Try to get us. God damn it. You two. We don't agree with you, niggas. Y'all could really save my life. Someone you can scream football. Like. We we I, I got you after the after the right 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 because right. we don't do that. You yeah, know, right. we're talking man. Right right right. I'm serious. Yeah, I just about to just Ooh, knock yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 I mean, I'm not looking a lot, though. I mean, I looked and scared your mother. I mean, I just scared her. I mean, that's why I did. Like, it's like, but like, now nah, I can tell I need to get some more. But, um, yeah, man. Tough out here. Uh, Tyson Fury. I guess good shit, man. Yeah. Like, no, man. no, no, no. We're not about to skip over this. Like, y'all ain't see that man say the N word. Oh, yeah. Yo! <laughs> Hello? This is Deontay. Hey, man. I need you to wake up. Get up. You still in the hospital? I did. I did. I did.
how we do it. Speaking of clowns and clowns of the week, I do have one. We're going to actually we gonna actually keep it right on sports. We're going to go right back to the NFL. All right, go. John Rubin. Yes, sir. You lost it. John Gruden is the was the coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay. Um, he has been under fire for allegedly a lot of emails sent. You know, because before he was a coach, he was like an analyst on ESPN. You know, he was doing shows and shit. Okay. So, like, basically from 2000 what 10 to 18, several nasty emails, several anti-gay, uh, anti-LGBTQ, anti-racial. It's all. Hundreds of emails allegedly. Yeah. Yes. How they got to them emails? Yeah. Um. One got leaked allegedly. What was it? Or to the wrong person. One was leaked Thursday or Friday, and it was one email. I think he was talking about like an ESPN worker, and he was saying like, "Hey, y'all, don't laugh at me." And I, <laughs> you know, the black guy. Black people are known to have larger lips than black people, so Mr. Gruden decided to say. The source of individual's lips um, reminded him of Michelin tires. So that's how thick oh, that's according, according to John Green, that's, that's how thick my man was. So I was looking at I was thinking to New York Times. And I guess like later on in the weekend, all the rest were like, because it wasn't that bad. You know how much shit happens. Oh, one email, everybody was going all. But then I think you know, towards the end of Sunday, all the rest of them got leaked. So he decided to, you know, I think it's resigned. You know, white people get the chance to resign. Yeah. Black people, we get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. John Gruden's formally resigned. I like to take this time. Yeah, yeah man. So that, that is definitely our uh, clown of the week. Someone said, yeah. what did Jerry Jones emails look like? Yo, I saw that tweet too. And I was like, no, smile, but that shit probably be the intro of Django. <laughs> like, God damn. Django. <laughs> okay, man. But yeah, that makes you think though. Like these niggas, these niggas probably be doing shit a lot. Like so, it just sucks. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Jones probably be saying that shit over the phone. Yeah, bro. No, I said it. Yeah. I told him to say. He was like, I'm here as well, man. Yes, sir. And it's like, bro, it's just emails. Yes, sir, boy. Big wild. Uh, it's my only catcher, man. But, um, shit, speaking of catching people, uh, you got any, um, got any shout-outs? Um, yeah. First, um, Huh? Oh, well, I guess my Jesse Wonders was clowning me. My yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same shit. My man John Gruden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mention the topics. Real quick. Yeah. 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 Ye
shout out Ashley, Carl. my sister. Carl. Shout out no, Lamar Jackson. Okay. Carl. November 16th. Yes, shout sir. out that. Give it yeah, one last throwdown. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh-huh. Whoa! Oh! 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 Yeah. All right, all right, and we are. So when the episode is an hour long, and you got right, 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 right